Good morning, everyone. Exciting news. Last night we finished beans. Oh, let that sink in. So, no more soybeans. We are on to corn. Now, the nice slash not so nice thing about corn harvest is that you can go pretty much all day, all night with beans. Usually in the morning, they're too tough to cut. Corn you can cut 24 seven pretty much. I guess you don't cut corn. You can pick corn, pick seed corn, cut beans, heart, shell corn, well, however we want to call it. Um, so that means no sleeping in. And we're gearing up for a big, long day today, trying to knock out a lot of acres. Are you ready? So here's the field we're working on today. Kind of an interesting shape. Um, this is what we did last time we were shelling corn. This is a test plot that might be worked on today. Um, so I'm thinking I want to get this done and some over here is what I'm, is my goal for today. Um, I had some people asking what app this is. So yeah, this is just an iPad and right now it's running Field View Climate. So what I really need to do is blow everything off, clean out the cab. It's getting a little, um, what's a nice way of putting it? Lived in, in here. We just don't bring the machine back to the farm unless it needs fuel. And when it does need fuel, it's like, go, 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 go. I'm at over half tank, so it'll probably be a while before we need fuel, but might need to bring a little Milwaukee vacuum out here and take care of all this. All right. Let's see if I can do this one-handed. Here we go. Let's turn all my separators on. Then that's my head. Ease it on forward here. Oh, I'm off a row. Never mind. There we go. Now we're rolling. Right now the corn is uh, anywhere from 18 to 20% moisture. Um, and then it will go from the combine grain tank back here. And then I will empty into the grain cart. And then the grain cart will empty into one of the trucks at the end of the field. And then from the trucks, it will go to our grain system. And then we'll dry it down to like 15 or 16% moisture and then either store it in the bin or we'll have a trucking company come in and haul it in to uh, like the co-op, for example, for us. A question that a lot of people asked on uh, some other harvest videos that I posted are why even bother with the green cart? Why have a middle step between the combine and the truck? And that is because with harvest, the most important thing is to keep the combine moving at all times. Um, and a lot of times, especially in corn, uh, in corn I cannot make it a full half mile pass before I'm full. Uh, and so it's rather me picking up full of grain and then driving another quarter mile down to the end of the field, emptying the truck, and then driving a quarter mile back and restarting. It's so much quicker and more efficient if the grain cart is just the go between. Does that make sense? Seconds after I finished filming that video clip, dad radioed. He has to go start stuff like the grain system going, the dryer, stuff moving around to start filling some trucks. So I am now picking corn on my own. So I'm empty now. So I'm just going to drive a ways down in the field, cut in and then dump into the truck on this side. So not very efficient, but at least the combine will stay moving. It is possible to harvest without a grain cart. It's just much easier and faster when you have one. Good news, I'm not alone anymore. Shout out to our seed guy. Uh, the guy that we buy all our seed from came out. He was driving by, saw we needed some help. Decided to hop in the grain cart. 
so I can start taking full passes again. Thanks, Greg. We really appreciate you. Oh man, what a treat. Thank you very much to Tristan Niles, my good, good friend, for bringing out pizza. <gasps> Ooh, it looks amazing. Harvest is really when like the community just comes together, I feel like. I'm just feeling extra special and blessed today. We just had a good family friend and banker come out and deliver some drinks for us. Ugh, man, I'm Tristan grabbing lunch for us today and then our seed guy running grain cart for me this morning. I just feel like my heart is overflowing. I'm just very thankful for all the supportive and so very hands-on and helpful people I have in my life. Um, whether Grandpa was in the hospital or not, I know these people would be helping out and I don't know. Just feeling very appreciative today. Well, we thought we had it fixed. We had a belt in the shed and took it out and immediately broke it. So we're not sure if the chain broke or if the belt broke or what all happened. but. In the end, it all got broke first, so. Fix on Sunday so we can work on Monday. Well, good morning. It's Monday morning. Dangling the uh, fountain auger out from the combine. So here's the root of our problem. This is on the gearbox. And this goes up in here and hits us. But see, it's, it's sheared off the end of these teeth. And that's just due from wear and tear. But that's the original problem that caused our belt to break because this auger was not spinning and pulling the corn out of the sump pump for the clean grain elevator leg. So yeah. It's working. Combine is back up and running. And this is why things get broken. So I can't see a thing. Can you guys? I think the camera does do this one justice. I cannot see what's going on down there. This is the actual thing that broke, and it's actually working. That's good. Okay, that is me exhaling to just process how big of a day we had. Uh, so, so many moving parts that, I mean, like, just unable to get on film. So we started off, great morning. And then I was picking by myself. And then our seed guy came out and ran grain cart for us. He ran grain cart for us, for, for me, for four hours. He came out just to say hi, pop in, visit, see how harvest was going, ended up being the grain cart for four hours. Okay, after that, my good friend Tristan brought us lunch. Totally unexpected, so grateful for that. Meanwhile, while all of this is happening, we have a test plot going on. Um, and then we helped with the test plot in the afternoon. I was in the grain cart, dad was in the combine. We had like six different people out here. And then uh, our banker, a good family friend, brought drinks out. And then while all this is happening, uh, we have truckers hauling grain out of our grain site that dad is helping manage, or dad is managing by himself. And we had truckers fixing motors for us on the grain site. <laughs> Oh my goodness. So just a kind of unexplainable day, but I just felt like there was a lot of moving parts that came and went. My goodness, it is Monday. Uh, I'll probably be posting this on Tuesday morning, but it is just a Monday. It just feels like a lot for Monday, but we did it. Sometimes I just can't believe, how do farmers keep up with marketing their crops? That is just a question I want to put out to all you farmers out there. When do you guys have time to look at the markets and compare and make financial decisions? I mean, my goodness, I guess we just wake up early and stay up late, but big day. Thank you so much to everyone who has been so involved in my family's farming life and my life. I'm just, I feel very blessed and grateful and thankful. And I just can't express that enough. And that goes for all you guys on YouTube too. <sighs> Anyways, thank you for watching. I do really appreciate you guys. We'll see you in the next video. <laughs>